Aortic stenosis is such an important topic because I'm sure you're going to encounter the disease somewhere along the lines in your medical career. Why? Because it's a disease that is growing in prevalence simply because our population is getting older. And it is also an important disease because we have new therapeutic strategies for these patients now. And if you learn how to perform echo, you will be able to not only diagnose these patients, but you will be able to determine which therapeutic strategy is best for them. I want to give you a few numbers that you understand the magnitude of the problem. Now, this is from a study where they simply counted how many patients uh, were referred to hospital admissions for aortic valve replacement. And you can see that over the years, the number have dramatically grown. Now, this is in a Western country, in the US. And you can imagine if you look at other countries which are developing now and where the population gets older, you can see that these countries will come to the same situation increasing numbers of patients with aortic valve replacement with aortic stenosis. And this is only the number of patients who were treated. Imagine how many patients are out there who we haven't even found yet. Yes, and as a matter of fact, the prevalence of aortic stenosis in patients over 75 years has been estimated to be 12.4% and 3.4% in case of severe aortic stenosis. But I guess the most important thing is, you know, aortic stenosis can really well present as emergency. And I perfectly remember a lady who came once in the emergency department because of syncope and the diagnosis was made really fast thanks to ECHO. It was a case of severe aortic stenosis combined to poor left ventricular function. Yes, and I remember a patient who came in with atrial fibrillation and with a rapid heart rate, and she was bound to get cardioversion until someone put the transducer on his chest and found out that it was severe aortic stenosis. Now, that really changes the management, doesn't it? Are you still not convinced? Well, we interviewed some experts in the field of emergency medicine, and here is what they said. In valve disease, you cannot go without echocardiography. Especially in aortic stenosis, you can immediately assess the severity of the stenotic valve, and you can see the left ventricular function. Anna, do you hear this? This is aortic stenosis. This is a wonderful auscultation signal. Don't you think we can diagnose it with auscultation? Yeah, Thomas, this is what a young colleague of ours actually told me once, that he could be faster with his stethoscope in diagnosing aortic stenosis than us with ECHO. You know, the problem is that when you want to use your stethoscope, first, you need silence around you. And in emergency department, you do not usually have silence. Second thing is, the intensity of the murmur doesn't usually correlate with the degree of the aortic stenosis. So the problem is, is you could overestimate or underestimate the degree when you trust only your stethoscope. And third, actually when you use your stethoscope, you do not know anything about the rest of the heart. When you are performing an echo, you know about the aortic valve and all the surrounding. Yes, I agree. It gives you just so much more information. And to be honest, it's easier to see aortic stenosis than to hear aortic stenosis. And to prove that, we're going to show you lots of examples in this chapter. You know, when you perform echo, you don't really have a view of the aortic valve as it looks in 3D or in reality. And I want to show you a video which I think is spectacular that will show you how the aortic valve really opens and closes. This is a video that was performed or actually made from the University of Minnesota, which shows in an animal model how the aortic valve looks when it is truly perfused, when it is opening and closing. Now, you can see how tender actually these leaflets are. You see how they open and close, you see the three cusps, and you see that there is a line of commissure or of closure. Keep this in mind when you then look at the aortic valve on the echocardiogram. Here's another view, I think. When you have aortic stenosis or some form of pathology, these leaflets will get thicker and they will be not as pliable as these leaflets and the opening will be reduced. 